my lovelies, my name is Lekka, and today we're going to be going over a Super Quantal deck, which is based off of the American Power Rangers and the Japanese Sentais, which is really, really, really cool. It also has a tiny Predator Plant and Gem Knight engine in it, so it is amazing at resource management and getting out onto the field that you need. It's also really good at swarming the entire field with cards, especially the Quantal layer, so that you can get out as many of their mech versions, because of course they all have big robot dinosaur a dolphin things to be able to use and the field to attack your opponent with. And of course they have things that will then attach them together into one big mecha boss that can also be used to smash your opponent with. But let's go ahead and get right into the deck build check to show you guys all of these things I'm talking about. To start off the deck we have a Gem Knight Lapis which is a level 3 normal type monster and the reason that we have this in the deck is because in order to summon Gem Knight Seraphonite which is one of the monsters in our extra deck we have a very tiny 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 little Gem Knight engine uh, we need to have a Gem Knight monster, like type monster, which is going to be our white layer. So we have a Gem Knight Lapis, and over here we also have a Gem Knight Alexandrite. Now this Gem Knight Alexandrite can contribute itself to turn itself into Gem Knight Lapis in case we need to have a level 3 or a level 4, depending on what it is we're trying to summon from our extra deck. So having two kinds of Gem Knight cards rather than just the same gives us a little more variety and a little more flexibility in our deck structure for whatever it is that we need from the extra deck. The second card that is in this deck is the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. And the reason that this card is super awesome is not because of its first ability in this deck, which is relevant to everything on second ability, which says that while this card is a monster, your opponent cannot specially sponsor something in the deck. So the whole goal of having the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword that we can attach it to our Union Carrier, which is one of the cards in our extra deck, and essentially soft lock the opponent out of using any of the cards in their extra deck. If you guys are familiar with the domain, like Monarch of uh, Domain of the Monarchs, which is a very huge spell staple card that locks the opponent out of the extra deck from my Monarch videos, which by the way, if you haven't seen, the video is over here in the top right hand corner in the eye icon that you guys can go watch. Amazing videos, very, very fun, and very strong decks as well. It has a very similar thing. So we're trying to use Dragon Buster Destruction Sword as a another kind of domain without the monarchs. So next we have Super Quantal Fairy Alphan, which is one of the cards that you're going to really want to use and it looks susceptibly. But it's actually super helpful because the entire point of Super Quantal are the fact that they are able to have abilities not only when they're put on the field, but also that activate when they are put into the graveyard, whether they're destroyed by battle or if they're put there by a card effect. And what Fairy Alphan does is once per turn you can target one Super Quantal monster you control and all face-up monsters you currently control become that monster level, which is helpful for XC summoning. But more than that, you can tribute this card to reveal three super quant monsters with different names from your deck, like blue layer, white layer, red layer, or green layer, depending on what you have on the field. Out. That part's going to be a little more nuanced depending on what the play and the like and what you want to get out. And your opponent will then randomly pick one of those three ones for you to special summon and send the rest to the graveyard, which then will activate the two that were sent to the graveyard's effects, where blue makes it so you can shuffle more of the resources of the layers back into your deck over again. White makes it so that you can get another fairy into your deck so that you can get Red makes it so that you can especially summon one of the discarded layers onto your field other than red layer itself. So you can get white out onto the field and then have a 24 stock monster, which you have, especially when you're trying to get their mechs out for them to be able to use. And then the green over here as well, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, uh, it makes it so that we can discard a super quad card and draw a card, which is nice for just it. Again, more max C is in here so that if our opponent decides to special summon some monsters, we can draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> uh, Load Fire Blossom is in here. This is where the Predator Plant engine starts to come in so that we can then use it to summon Predator Plant Ophra Scorpio, which uses its ability to then let us summon a different kind of Predator Plant, which lets us summon Cobra, Darlingtonia specifically. Nice because it will allow us, specifically, the reason we want Cobra. To get out Brilliant Fusion, which will then allow us to fuse together either the Alexandrite and the Lapis that we were talking about earlier, so we can get out Seraphonite. Or, if that's not helpful in going on, then we also have Instant Fusion, so that we can get out Mud Dragon, which is nice because it can change its attributes and whatnot for us to be able to get out Union Carrier, uh, etc, etc. So we'll go a little more into that once we get closer, but the Lone Fire Blossom is just to get out Scorpio, and Scorpio is used just to get out Cobra. Next we have Super Quant Blue Layer, which is nice because when this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Super Quant card from your deck to your hand except for Blue Layer. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target up to three Super Quant cards in the graveyard and shuffle them back into your deck. Great again for resource management. 
We've already gone over Scorpio and Cobra, what they do. Ash Blossom by Spring is just another hand trap. It helps prevent the opponent from getting shenanigans done. Alexandrite is in again, just because it's another level 4 monster that will allow us to potentially tribute it so that we can get out Lapis instead if we need shenanigan plays in our extra deck, but also specifically just because we want to be able to have it for Brilliant Fusion to get out Seraphonite later on. Green Layer for the Super Quant makes it so that when this card is normal or special summoned, we can one Super Quant monster from our hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, then we can discard one Super Quant card and draw a card. Red Layer, which is an ultra rare, and the reason we have three of these ones is because it is a very, very good card. Same with the White Layer. We don't need to have a lot of the green because we're able to recycle it back into the deck with green. But we want to make sure that we have three of the reds and of the whites. Now the red makes it so that if we control no monsters, we can special summon this card from our hands. We can only use each of the following effects of Super Quantum Red Layer once per turn. This card's normally summons, we can target one Super Quant card in our graveyard and add it to our hand. Or, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Super Quant monster in your graveyard, except for red, special summon it. So, both of those abilities are really, really nice to have, especially when we're trying to get out mech versions of all of our different layers. Super Quant White Layer makes it so that we can send one non-light Super Quant monster from our hand or face-up field to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand in depends position. This card is normally summoned, we can send one Super Quant monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if we do, this card's attribute and level becomes the same as that monster. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one Super Quantal Fairy Alphan from your deck to or graveyard to your hand, which is again to get more cards out for more resources to then flood the field more with even more of our layers and monsters. It's crazy. You can get the entire board filled with all five monster zones pretty easily. For the spells and traps, we have Raigeki because it's nice to be able to have in order to destroy all of our opponent's monsters. Harpy's Feather Duster for the same reason, except for their spell and trap card zones. Monster Reborn, so that if we really need to get another one of our layers out onto the field, back out so we can get then our big super guy onto the field. In, or if the opponent has a really good monster that we want to use, again, we can. It's just great for having sources. Uh, we have Terraforming, because we really want to be able to get our spell out onto the field. With the linchpin of the deck. Instant Fusion is here, so that we can use it to summon our Mud Dragon, so that we can use it to get out our Union Airplay extra deck. We also have Lightning Storm in here, so that if we have no monsters, if we happen to go second, we use it to destroy all of the attack position monsters that our opponents spend a ton of resources on. Well, they're just a trap card zone, so they're a spell trap card heavy deck. It's nice to have in here. The very, very important part of this is the Super Quantal Mech. Oh, I did not mean to accidentally uh, have two of that instead of three. But the Super Quantal Mech Ship Magna Carrier, because... This card makes it so that if we discard one card, then we can target one Super Quantum monster we control and special summon one from the extra deck of a Super Quantum Mech Beast uh, Xyz monster with the same attribute as that monster you control by using it as material. You can also send this card from the field zone to the graveyard, which is the one that we are going to be using it almost always for. Then target three Super Quantum Mech Beasts Xyz monsters, which are the big mech version of the Power Ranger cards that we've been playing with up to this point so far. Uh, with different names that you control and or that are in your graveyard, especially on Super Quantum Mech King Great Magnus! Talk about a mouthful long of a name. From your extra deck, and if you do, you can attach the targeted monsters and their materials to it as material. So we can get six, seven, eight materials plus to that card, and the more materials it has on it, the more effects it has as well. So this card is amazing for that and is really the play that we're trying to get out to be our big win condition. Brilliant Fusion is here so that we can use it to get rid of Lapis or Alexandrite, and then a white layer so that we can summon Seraphonite. Have Emergency Teleport so that we can use it to get out a blue layer immediately because here is actually a level 3 psychic type, so it works out perfect for Emergency Teleport, which is why we tech 2 it. Have Called by the Grave so that we can stop our opponent from maxiing or Ash Blossoming or doing a. Uh, Effect Veiler or doing any other kind of hand trap shenanigans. It's just nice to have two up. We also have Super Quantal Alfin Call Appeal, which makes it so that if a Super Quant monster you control destroyed by battle, we can special summon one Super Quantal Mech Beast Xyz monster from the extra deck, and then we can also special summon one Super Quant monster from our hand, deck, or graveyard that is listed on that Xyz monster in its effect but negate its effects is great because this essentially allows us to get one of our uh, mech monsters onto the field for free without needing to have the material cost for it and get another layer that is specific kind of that we got out free. 
And then the only trap card that we run in here is infinite and permanent so that we can negate, have a little bit of negation for uh, some of the opponent's card effects for things going on in here. It's just nice to uh, tech on and have in, which is why the deck runs a 4 one. If you don't want to have in uh, the other Lapis or the Alexandrite, you can try and run just one or the other to get it down to 40, but with how good the resource management is deck and the thinning that you were able to do with it, it doesn't really matter that it's a 41 cards instead of Now for the extra deck, we have Mud Dragon of the Swamp. And in order to get this one out, you have to have two monsters with the same attribute but different types, and your opponent cannot target this card or monsters on the field with the same attribute as this card with the effects. Once per turn, you can declare one attribute, and this card becomes that attribute until the end of the turn. That is the part that is most important, because in order to summon Union Carrier, you have to have two monsters of the same type or attribute in order to get it onto the field. So Mud Dragon acts as just this kind of morphous bub that we can use to turn into whatever it is that we want to get out Union Gem Knight Seraphonite is nice to have because during your main phase, you can normal summon and set one monster in addition to our regular normal summon and set. Really good, again, for being able to get more monsters onto the field, more layers to get more mechs so that we can get to our big play and our big wing readily. Super Quantum Mech Beast Grand Pulse is the first of the Mech Beasts for blue here, and of course it's a dolphin because blue, aquatic, all the things is such and wild. But uh, this one is going to be our ability to get rid of our opponent's spell trap cards and usually have two layers on our pump spell trap card slots. Nice, because we'll be able to get rid of whatever cards are in those zones. Of course, we can only turn, but we essentially just attach one of the material card, and then we can one spell trap card on the field and destroy it for whatever it is that's annoying. And additionally, uh, the only downside to a lot of these cards is that when they run out of material, they can't attack, so they kind of become a card, and that's the reason of the cards that we're running in this deck, which is Downer Magician. Because Downer Magician can, obviously we're not going to summon it because we don't have spellcaster monsters. What I do instead is summon this card with a rank 3 or lower monster, like for example, a Super Quano Mech Beast Grand Pulse, which is a rank 3 Xyz that may or may not have any material left to it this card otherwise. Take a card that would be used as zero influences onto it, uh, zero materials, and use it to summon a downward magician that then gains 200 attack for each material attached to it. And if this card attacks a defense position monster, it can have damage. But a really big thing that is uh, good for having this card in here is not only for but it is nice because then when we have, if you guys remember up here, the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, and use Union Carrier to attach that card to Downward Magician's dark attribute, and then softlock our opponent out of the deck. Kind of the same thing here with Erboros, which its ability makes it so that we can flip over our opponent's card. We can use Erboros if it runs out of materials when we flip over two of our opponent's cards to stop them from being used. Get out uh, Vespinato, which kind of does the same thing of making it so that we can have something that can attack and then have 500. It's this card that only has attack. This card, though, once per turn, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card, then target one face-up monster on the field. It's Face down defense position. Effect can be activated during either player's turn, which is super great because it essentially acts as a quick effect for getting rid of our opponent's shenanigans. They have a really hard out and they are wanting to uh, its effect abilities and it's uh, quite useful to have. The next one we have is the Super Quantal Mech Beast Magna Liner, which is a nice little red lion here for the red layer. This one cannot attack unless it has materials. Once per turn, you can attach one material card, then target one monster on the field and destroy it. So this one gets rid of monsters on the field. Uh, this is a quick effect if this card has a super quantum red layer attached to it, which will almost always have a red layer attached to it, so we can use this as a quick effect even on our opponent's card. The card that we have that, again, if we run out of materials on this and this becomes a dead card, you uh, to summon it is our Gaia Dragon over here. Because we can XC summon it by using a rank 5 or 6 Xyz monster. And Magna Liner is back. Break 5, X. Also, Gaia Dragon serves double for its ability to have the sword be attached to it to softlock our opponent out of the deck. Same with the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. And also be used if we of our white layers to summon it onto the field. And attach the sword to it to, again, softlock them out of the deck. Uh, the other one here for the Super Quantum Mech Beast. This one is the Lusturex. This one is for our white layer. Once per turn, you can attach one material card, then target one effect monster on the field and negate the face-up monster's effects until the end of the turn. 
This one essentially acts as a polo bow. You guys are familiar with that link monster. Um, it acts as a polo, but in the format, which is, and it doesn't lose attack power for making that happen. <laughs> The big win condition crazy card that we have the field spells for is, of course, the Great King Magnus. Uh, we can uh, use it with this card getting effects where if it has two materials onto it, once per turn during the main phase, we can detach one of the two cards and shuffle the deck. Shuffle a card on the field into the deck. Words! Has four plus materials, aka if it has five materials or more, um, it is unaffected by card effects except by those from Super Quant cards. So we can put effects on this card if we so choose. And if it has six built cards, aka seven or more, then your opponent cannot add cards from the deck to their hand by card effects, which is a lot of people's strategies for the entire game. So we essentially lock a ton of strategies, like Sky Brigade, like Sky Striker, um, like freaking Eldritch, a lot of different ones that you uh, would get complete strategy. Assuming that you have the materials to activate all of these effects at once. We also have Zeus, which is literally just here as another negate, so that when we play an Xyz monster, we can then summon Zeus, because we don't have to have two level 12 monsters to summon it. We can have an Xyz monster that battled this turn. Put it on here, we can detach new materials from this card and send all other cards from the field to the graveyard. So every single card, it's like a black hole, uh, other than Zeus, just completely gets eliminated from the field, so it's like a panic button card, <laughs> which is really nice to have, especially since our deck doesn't have a whole lot of negate. Uh, serves as a lot of that for us. Chain Carrier is great because it allows us to summon it with a lot of times be Mud Dragon that we can then get our uh, sword onto either Downard or Gaia or Scrap Metal Dragon so that we can lock the opponent out of their extra deck. And of course, it's also just nice to have not only for that ability, but because the monster then gains 1,000 attack too. And the very last card that we have is Neo Super Quantal Mech King. Blaster Magna, which is another really, really long name. This card makes it so that when the Link Summoned card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, each time a Super Quant Xyz monster with a different name from the cards you control, special summon from the extra deck to a zone this card points to, just any of the cards below it and then left and right a bit, we get to draw a card. If a face-up Xyz monster this card points to be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, we can take one Super Quant monster from the deck with the same original type and attribute as one of the destroyed Xyz monsters. So, and if we have a mech get destroyed, this card makes it so that we can recycle back out onto the field. At least one of the layers of the card that it kind of evolves in. And that was a very, very wordy explanation of all of these different things because this is a very thick, heavy, nuanced deck. And it's not going to play the exact same way with the exact same combos every single time. So there's a lot of variety within this deck of how it can... It's going to depend on the opponent and how the game state is and how the board is and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you of how all of this is that you can have some fun Power Ranger. Okay, our opponent was just kind of sitting there for a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to summon Scorpio and we're going to use it. To uh, there's no need to summon Fire Blossom. Because oh, can you have a better internet connection, please? Sir? Because it's useless, we're going to go ahead and discard it. Then we're going to... Do we want to get another effect? Wait on that one for right now. We'll use that later to get our blue layer onto the field. But for now, we're going to get Cobra out here. Effect of Cobra. Get our brilliant fusion out from the deck. Because we don't really need the... You know. From your deck as you and now that we have the brilliant fusion we're going to go ahead and use that to bang boom get out our gem knight seraphonite so we are going to use our lapis and we are going to use a white layer chakalaka and seraphonite can you have a better internet connection please I can't even read my screen. Yes, I do want to activate the effect of my white layer in my graveyard is what I'm reading kind of through the overlay on that. And then we won't go ahead and activate that one. So we start to add to the hand. Go ahead and we'll add another of the fairies in because all it can do, it just does deck thinning. Now I'll go ahead and I'll summon the Alphan. Because we have the additional number summon from our Seraphonite and we are going to go ahead and use that one to get out 
by Tributed. Uh, to go ahead and we'll do uh, red and we will do and we will do white. Okay, and it looks like they chose red at random for us to go on in. So now we're going to use the red. We're going to just chain all of the abilities like I was talking about before. Target so that we can see. I would really like to special summon a white because, uh, I mean, we have two of them in the start, so really Plus, it's the strongest of all of them that are in there at the moment anyway, so we're going to go ahead and reshuffle in. Uh, just the blue, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I don't want to shuffle this one in because I want to be able to get ability in the turn. So we are just going to shuffle the blue back into the deck so we can shuffle ability in at a later date. No, we aren't going to use the emergency teleport, at least not right now. Okay, now we're going to use emergency teleport. Summon blue layer onto the field. Cha -pa -pa -pa! Use its ability. And again, when I was talking about this field spell card being the linchpin of the entire thing, we are using it as the linchpin of the entire fucking thing. So we need to get it onto the field, and we're going to activate it, and we're going to put it onto the field immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to summon Magna Liner, which we are going to do by summoning Serpent, the other one. So let's go ahead and boopity boop. Get that one onto the field. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate the white layer effect. And we're going to get rid of blue layer by this one. And then we are going to activate its ability. Uh, we don't want to use that one because we don't want to accidentally just break hard. So go ahead and send green away. Alphan, because we don't need it. Cancel. Alright, and now that we have blue layer in our hand, that'll be nice for next turn. Now that we have two level threes on the field, we're going to go ahead and we're going to summon our Grand Pulse. We're going to summon it and... We're going to get our Dolphins on the field. Okay, so we're going to discard our blue layer using the ability of our field spell. Get rid of the attribute on white layer. Turn it into wind so that we can then summon Erboros onto the field. We will then make it so that now, what I was talking about before with our field spell, making it so that we can have three different mech beasts on the field at the same time. We can now get rid of all three with their different line, our Grand Pulse, and our Aeroboros. And get out our super mech knight grand super mega awesome thingy. Okay, shibibbidi boppity boop. And there it is. And that's gonna be our play. And enter. Remove my really bad internet connection. Really? You're using Dark Hole on me? Wait. Oh, it doesn't work because we have. Oh, yeah! Duh. Okay, I don't think they do that either. And to be honest, I was. Surprise for a second, but we're unaffected by card effects except for super quant cards because we have five or more materials attached to us. All of our effects are active right now because we have seven materials. Actually, we have eight uh, influence on this card at this exact moment in time, and I don't think they realize that. They might just surrender at this point. Uh, we make it so that once per turn, attach a material card, shuffle one card on the field into the deck, which we can do at time. We're unaffected by any card effects, like Dark Hole. <laughs> and your opponent can't add cards from the deck to their hand either, so any cards they might have to try and get something and with their possible blue eyes deck from the way it looks, uh, won't happen. So, <laughs> ah, that was great. Go ahead and draw Love Fire Blossom. We don't need to use that for literally anything because we already have what we need onto the field. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Harpy's Feather Duster because we wanna get rid of whatever it is that is behind them. Don't know what it is. And it's Mirror Force. I'm really glad that we got rid of that. I want to use its ability to get rid of the card that is on the other side of the field. So we are going to... I mean, it really doesn't... There for night. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and shuffle this back into the deck. We don't know what it is, but we also don't care. We're going to go into the battle phase, and we're going to smack him in the face with 30 damage. Bam! And... End the turn. Go on, move, Nagamon. And because we can do it on their turn as well, we're going to do the same thing again. So this time we're going to get rid of a white layer. And I'm doing that because I want to return this card to the deck, whatever that may be. Probably another mirror board. We're going to activate the effect of white layer now that I discarded it as a card. So that we can get an Alphan from the deck, fix it out a little bit more, and also make it some move next turn. 
whenever they decide to end. Okay, so we've got a red layer, but we can't really do anything with it, so we're going to play our Alphan Fairy instead. As we wait for a response. And they surrendered! Either that or they had a DC error. I'm just going to assume that they surrendered because we're super fucking awesome. It says connection failed, but we know that we're actually the badasses here. I like it! Alright, we're gonna do one more. <laughs> Hopefully with a better internet connection. Okay, so because we drew Brilliant Fusion, we're going to go ahead and use our Lone Fire Blossom. Not to get Brilliant Fusion this time like we did before, but instead so that we can get Scorpio. So that we can go ahead and... Chakalaka. Get ourselves an Instant Fusion. Or we could get Ash Blossomed and not get anything, which is also perfectly valid, but it doesn't matter because we were just doing that to have extra in our hands. So, now that that's done, we know that they cannot Ash Blossom our Brilliant Fusion. Fantastic! So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get Seraphonite out here by getting rid of a Lapis and then getting rid of a White Layer, as is tradition. And then we're going to put it face up in attack position into the main monster zone. Boom shakalaka, shabam! We're going to go ahead and use the effect of Super Quantum White Layer so that we can get another Fairy Alphan from the deck into our hand. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to summon our Super Quant with its extra ability so that we can then go ahead and activate its ability. Our three Quants. Get red, blue, and green this time. That way we can have all their abilities uh, be for us. So, go ahead and wait for them to just randomly pick one for us. Nice! We I were able to get the red one! Shabam! Which means that we're going to be able to use all of their abilities. So, red layer activates! We're going to go ahead and we're going to target the white layer, actually. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's do green. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the green layer. We're going to activate the effect of green layer. Uh, onto the field as well. So we're going to select the Alphan to discard because we already used it this turn so we don't need to have it in our hand. And then we're going to activate the effect of blue so that we can get the uh, white and we can get the blue in. And we're going to do that. So select. That way we can have both of them back in the deck for shenanigans. And then we get infinite impermanence. Very nice. And then we get green layer back into our hand as well. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to play Magnaliner because we have our Seraphonite and we have our Red Layer. We're going to go ahead and we're going to play it onto the field. Chakalaka, and because it has a Red Layer attached, we can its effect to get rid of a monster on their turn as a quick effect. Great, we're going to set our infinite and permanence, and then we are going to go ahead and end our turns. Grab Iron, Scarecrow. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster and attack. Also after that, set the card face down instead. Okay. Interesting. What kind of deck are they running? Ah! Time Lord deck! Okay. Nope, that's fine. Can't be destroyed by card effects or by battle. That's my favorite. Oh, they got two out! Sweet! Yep, nope, that's great. What does this one do? This one... Looks damage equal to the attack of the opposing monster. This one, what, halves my life points? Yeah, that's fine. So, we're gonna, we're gonna be hurt. That's basically 6,600 damage that we're gonna be taking to the face. Ow. Damn, our field looks like Magnaliner just went ham on it. <laughs> now, they're both gonna get shuffled back into their deck at the start of their next main phase, which is nice, and they have no cards in hand, so they've basically expended all of their resources. We are going to try and just have a full field to negate a lot of the shenanigans that they have been trying. Okay, because of emergency teleport, we're going to, again, get blue layer onto the field because it's a level 3 psychic monster. So we're going to go ahead and summon this one, and then we're going to use its ability. Got to hand. The other one here. Okay, we're going to use this ability to get our Field Spell, because again, Field Spell is God. We're going to go ahead and we're going to activate it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate the effect of White Layer in our hand. We're going to get rid of Green Layer, since it's just kind of sitting there. And we're going to play it onto our field. Uh, there's no applicable card for Super Quantum Green Commander, which is fine. We're going to use the effect of White Layer now that we were able to summon it. We are going to get rid of another one of the 
white layers. That way we can use its ability in the graveyard to get a Fairy Alphan into our hand. From the deck, of course, because deck thinning for the win! So now, what the thing is, now that we have two cards in our hand, we get to discard one card, then target one Super Quant monster we control, special summon from our extra deck, one Super Quant uh, monster with the same attribute as that monster we control with the Xyz. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to do that, so that we can, in fact, get rid of Alphan. And then we will go ahead and we'll get rid of blue layer so that we can get samples onto the field without needing to have another one. We're going to put it in defense position because it has 2,800 strong defense. Flippity bloppity blue. And then we're going to use the field spell again to do the same thing so that we can get rid of our Cobra to get our Lusterex onto the field as well for our white layer. All right, so here is where we're going to try and best them. So we are going to use our uh, little Apollo here to detach one material from our card. We're going to get rid of our white layer. And we are going to negate the ability of the one that's in front of us here, the one that halved our life points from the start. And now, because we got rid of its ability, it can now be hit and destroyed by battle, which is fucking fantastic. So what we are going to do is we're going to now go into our battle phase. We're going to use our Liger to attack Boom Shakalaka, the one that can now be destroyed by battle, <laughs> and do 26,000 damage to him. Now we're going to go into our main phase two, and if you guys remember, because we have three on the field, because our field spell here is active, we can go to the second one, get rid of all of these guys. Now, we won't have a lot of materials attached to it, but that's okay, because it'll be more than what we had, and we'll go ahead and place Shabapple, our Super Mega Quantum King thingamajig over here, and now we're going to go ahead and end our turn their move. Okay, so they just had their Time Lord get shuffled back into their deck because that's the ability of all Time Lords is that uh, they get shuffled back into the deck after that. Nice thing about having our king on the field is because it's out here. We have the ability where once per turn, catch one card and shuffle one card on the field back into their deck. So even if this card that they shuffled or that they got is a Time Lord, doesn't matter because they also just ended their turn. So that's great. If we can get another card onto the field, then we can do 400 damage. We win the game. And we have terraforming. Okay, well, we might as well use it. So let's go ahead and terraform out another one of our field spell cards. Okay, this is how we're going to win this turn. So now that we have our guy here on the field, we are going to activate the ability of our card here to get rid of red layer, which special summons one of our monsters. And we were going to use red layer to then summon white layer onto the field so that we could then OTK them. But it doesn't matter because they surrendered and we won. So, hooray! And that was the Super Quantal Power Rangers Super Mega Ega Awesome video. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe for more free content on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel if you are somebody who enjoys it, whether you are a beginner, you need beginner videos, which I have made, or you are somebody who is very tenured to and you just like seeing a lot of interesting archetypes and decks, then feel free to keep watching and subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of that stuff. I'm not really a huge fan of the metas. I like to play around with different archetypes and make a lot of different decks. I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to make certain decks and different archetypes, like the uh, Raid Raptor has been a really popular one, so keep your eye out because that's going to be one of the next very uh, next videos that we have coming out on the channel. But yeah, if you guys have suggestions of videos you want to see me make, make sure you write them down in the comments below. I love answering you guys and I respond to every single comment so none of you guys get ignored. Thank you very much for watching. Without taking up any more y'all's time, I'll go ahead and let you go. Goodbye, my lovelies.